Hi everyone. Okay, the infamous flip through from me. Sorry for the shaking. I'm using my tablet. I do not use a camera and a tripod or anything like that. So I'm going to give you my flip through from the beginning of May, which I started my Shirinichi May 1st, all the way up through to, to today. Okay, if there are any pages that don't have anything written on them, I have my notes of what I need to put in on for that day because sometimes I'll suffer from a migraine or I was just really busy that day and just didn't get a chance to do it. And uh, But I have my notations of what I want to do. Now, case in point, this little note I have right here, I made a mistake in the month of June. And if you read it, it says change dates in June from 17th out which means to the end of the month because that means I skipped a date and but I went ahead and I filled everything in and I'm going wait a minute why are my dates off well because I missed the 18th I went from the 17th through the night to the 19th and so now I need to go in and renumber my pages here's the beginning and I have a few pages empty in the front and then I decided okay let me go ahead and you know so I can remind myself what type of washi tape that I have but instead of starting on this page silly me started on the next page because it was a bright idea that I had and so I started here and I put my washi tape here and then I figured okay let me put my different flags that I have of the different ones that I have and as you can see I filled up the page but then I'm like but I have more washi tape and so I had to go back on the back side of this page I don't know why I can't flip this over I had to go back and use this side so there's no rhyme or reason it's just like whatever idea I come up with that's when I incorporate it so not a well thought out plan okay here's the first day May 1st when I start it and periodically you'll see a stamp of Hello Kitty in there and then as you can see my my pen bled through because I was using the uh, Sharpie um, fine point marker which you know this paper is not designed for markers it's designed for pen so those type of pens do not work or they're not a pen they're a marker duh so this is the first day that I started my Sherry Nietzsche and then I did a YouTube video and I'll just get in on that so you can see just you know that's supposed to be my computer with the little webcam on top and then this is my Sherry Nietzsche right here okay my Hobo Nietzsche that I started I went shopping at Target and then I went to the, that's supposed to be for the dollar store, okay? And then we had a meeting at the radio station. So this is my uh, attempt at uh, drawing some music notes. And, and I used a music sticker there. And then there's May 2nd. I went to AAA to register my car. Um, I went shopping and I bought birthday presents um, for our neighbors next door. We went to a place to go eat called Burgers and More. And then um, we had uh, my husband and I, we sat down and we just kind of like to go over how blessed we are. And so we just had like a, a, a spiritual moment between the two of us as husband and wife. And so I just made notation of that. Now on Saturday, I know it looks like it, the, it was raining on my car, but I actually took my car to the car wash. And this is a poor attempt of me making a barbecue grill. Okay, so because we barbecued that night. So we did that. Um, I'm not sure if any of you have ever heard of Nick Volkacek. He's the young man that was born with no arms and no legs. Well, he came to our church, Saddleback Church in, church in Lake Forest. He was a guest speaker. And we attend Tent 3 on the campus of Saddleback uh, Campus. And then um, my husband, he got a satellite radio boombox in the mail, so he was very happy about that. And as you can see, I have my date my day there's a little hello kitty there and i tried to do maybe not so much the moon but but what the temperature was that day in the in the day and in the evening so that's how i'm keeping track of the weather here then on the fifth there was cinco de mayo um we were awakened with some bad news that my husband's stepfather passed away so i had to make plane reservations he was taking jet blue to go to maryland that's the supposed to be the map of the United States and then that's um, uh, Maryland where he was going we had tacos for dinner that night as you can see I don't have a lot on my pages because I'm not going to overwhelm myself it's just this is just what happened to me um, today here uh, was a hair day wash it blow dry it flat iron it that kind of thing and tonight's dinner was just ham sandwich with chips 
okay and then I just stuck a Hello Kitty sticker there and then over here um, another day of shopping I went to Walmart went to the 99 cent store and I could barely see the dollar for the Dollar Tree get it Dollar Tree ha 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 my attempt at a joke a picture puzzle and um, I recorded a couple of YouTube videos today we had pizza for dinner and then just a little something that went on uh, for that day and then this is a day my husband left to go back to Maryland. This is a poor attempt to draw me. I'm not happy. That's his luggage. That's him on the plane. As you can see, he's not happy either. And then um, that's supposed to be a bowl of ice cream that I had. So, and then uh, the next day I went to Staples 99 cent store. And then this was supposed to swap. We went to Carlos' dinner for the, the day before. And then I had a light dinner and had ice cream. So I wrote it on the wrong day. And then here we are on Saturday. He came back because uh, he was only there for one and a half days. So as you can see, I'm happy and he's happy because he's coming back. So and then I went to Michael's Staples Dollar Tree 99 cent store. And then as you can see, I stopped my attempt at trying to draw stuff. And then this is Mother's Day. And um, so just some fun things that we did. Oh, I had some gel pens and some of my gel pens were drying up. So I had to switch pens. Over here, as you can see, big sun because we have very hot days here. Really didn't write too much. It's supposed to be flames for hot. And as you can see, I got my flames upside down right there. Oh, well, it happens. And again, sunshiny day right here at the beach. Same type of thing, upside down flames. Don't ask me what my problem was with that. I was just having a moment. And then same thing here, sunshiny days here at the beach, just really enjoying living here. And then the Doheny Blues Festival is right here, right off of our patio um, at Doheny Beach. And we can see it from our patio and we can hear it from our patio. So we always just try not to have anything planned for that weekend because it's all weekend long. And so there's a sticker of a real barbecue, people. So we had steak and shrimp, corn on the cob, uh, chips and dip for dinner. So we had a good time just enjoying the music. And then here I am again. Um, this is Bash Week, the concert that we put on at the radio station. So this whole week we get prepared for that. So you're not going to see a whole lot on these pages because for the entire week, we're just there filling orders and everything. So I'll go back and put uh, stickers on these pages, but there's really not a whole lot going on in the house and that week because I need to be at the radio station. And then here's the actual day of the birthday bash, and there's supposed to be some artists on the stage. You know, the drummer with the killer hair and a saxophonist and a singer. And then these people are the people in the crowd. So you, you, you get what I'm trying to do here? <laughs> I'm trying to make a concert scene here. So that was our birthday bash. And then the days after that, I'm just getting some rest. I'm sleeping. And, you know, I did run to Target. But for the rest of the day, it takes a couple of days to bounce back from that. Same thing here. Just watch some YouTube videos. Throughout, you'll see some, you know, Hello Kitty, you know, reference. And then um, I just did some major house cleaning this day because we were planning on going to the Newport Beach Jazz Festival. We were going to be gone all weekend long. And then here I'm just getting some things finalized as far as making, getting our food prepared, getting our beverages together, packing us, getting us ready for the Newport Jazz Festival. Then that Friday, which I forgot to put the weather and all that. I mean, I have it written down, but I just didn't put it in. Uh, this is where our reservations fell apart. Uh, they were going to put us in a building that they weren't sure if we were going to hear the music. We definitely couldn't see the stage. So that just really blew everything out of proportion for us. And so we ended up just purchasing journal admission tickets instead of staying at the hotel like we were planning to do to celebrate our anniversary, if you know the story behind all that. So uh, Saturday was the Newport Jazz Festival. Same thing on Sunday. Then on Monday, June 2nd, okay, now we're into June. Uh, my husband and our oldest daughter went to go see Godzilla. So there's my attempt to at join Godzilla. He's coming in to devour the city. And um, they enjoyed that. And then uh, I found out, um, this is where I found out about the Daiso store. This was, it all started here, June 3rd. June 3rd was the day that it all started for me. And... Um, I just wanted to make note of that and I'm just saying how you could just spend so much time in that store and then here my oldest daughter and I we went to go see Maleficent this is my attempt to draw Malef Maleficent so I think I did a pretty good job of that 
And then this was my first time being back at the radio station after being gone for almost four years from being sick. So this is my poor attempt at me drawing me with my headphones on and just really having a good time. Uh, here is when um, my family flew out, part of my family flew out from Indiana. Okay. And then we had a big barbecue at my mother's house and it also incorporated uh, celebrating my birthday and my stepfather's birthday. And this was the menu that my mother prepared. It was hot dogs, hamburgers, corn on a cob, salad, chicken, baked beans, mac and cheese. Plus there was cake and ice cream. And there was so much more food, I just didn't put it all on there. But that was the gist of it. And then actual Sunday was my stepfather's birthday. And then here, uh, my cousin and her, her family came over to my house and uh, to spend the day with us and we took them to the arcade at our church at Saddleback Church they've got a huge arcade set up for kids and everything and we play pool and video games and ping pong and then um, Carissa and I our oldest daughter we went to Universal Studios and that's the first time that we've spent that kind of time together since she's moved out of the house and that was a lot of fun and this is where my cousin and her family went back home they left to go back to Indiana and I didn't go to the radio this day because um, we decided to go. This is where we were going to leave to go uh, to Las Vegas for my birthday weekend. So I didn't do anything that Thursday except for just pack and get us ready. And this is my birthday day. We're already uh, in Vegas. So I just went ahead and I just you know made the notation of that. And here we are in Las Vegas. This is my poor attempt of drawing the strip. This is the Luxor. This is New York, New York. This is Paris. And this is the Eiffel Tower. I know it's not that great, but um, this is my, my rendition of Las Vegas and the strip. And here's Father's Day. And so we're home. We always make sure we get back to go to church on Sunday. So we had a great Father's Day. And then Jeff and Carissa went to go see the X-Men. They went on that day to go see the X-Men movie. And here's where I didn't put anything on these days, but I do have the notation in my little small notebook. And I love the little stickers that I found that I can put in a corner to uh, really decorate my pages. And then here, um, I wrote this in here because my listener base was growing and I had a fantastic uh, playlist that day. I believe that was the day I had you guys do the, um, the code giveaway. I have to look at my notes for that. Um, I spent most of the morning at the DMV. I had to renew my license. I think I told you my story about that on YouTube. So that's what that day was all about. And then here, this is the first day of summer. And uh, my girlfriend came down of 20 years and took me out to lunch. We had a great time that day. And then here's church and it was just great as usual. And that just uh, signified we've been attending Saddleback Church for three years now. I don't have anything on this day, but I do have my notations that I need to fill that out. And then I uh, caught up on some YouTube videos while doing laundry. Uh, just kind of, you know, chilling out my day. And same thing here. My other cousin, the sister of the cousin and the family that came out earlier, she arrived this day. And uh, I prepared her room and her guest uh, basket for her with slippers. Um... Footies, towels, personalized water bottles, snacks, welcome letter, toiletries, and so that was in her gift basket. And then at the radio station this day, I interviewed Earl Clue, so, and he's a guitar player. I'm not finished decorating this page, but you get the gist of it. And then here we took uh, my cousin to go see a friend of ours who is a, an, a musician. She's an acoustic guitar player. She was performing at the Coach House here in San Juan Capistrano, and so here's the ticket her name is JD Peterson and she opened up for the motels so we took my cousin to go see her and then uh, I took my cousin to the Daiso store so this was just chronologue uh, writing down I'm just writing down what uh, what she thought of the store I watch more YouTube videos and my husband and his best friend went to go play golf that day um, let's see, uh, church this day, we had Hawaiian dancers in church, and they just danced so beautifully and so smoothly. It's just amazing. Uh, we took uh, my cousin up to my mother's house um, because it was my mother's turn for her to stay spend some time with her. 
and then she's going to she was going to come back with us and then um here i'm just explaining that i'm at the end of my birthday month here and just you know just writing down jotting down a few things that we did for my birthday and what i like to do is i like to write in a lot of different colors and everything and as you can see i don't always write on every single line and that to me because that kind of helps take up the page and not feel so overwhelmed like over here I wrote on every line pretty much and so I still have this much I need to decorate but I find that it's easier if I just go ahead and if I just sometimes just write on every other line and it gives my book a different look it just doesn't make it look so uniformed and then over here I just spent the day cleaning my craft room in our office and I was doing laundry throughout the process. So as you can see, I put some stickers here and I can always, you know, put some more decorating here. Like if I could find a, a picture of laundry or something, I can put that here. Uh, caught up on my office work I've been putting off, which is the, the financials. That, as you can see, it's at the beginning of the month of July and so I need to close out the month of June. And so I was finally catching up. And then I went to go pick up my cousin from um, my mother's house so she can come down here and enjoy the fireworks because the fireworks are right off of our patio. I mean, literally straight across. Um, this day started off somewhat uh, slow, but it picked up. Um, Angie and my, my cousin and I, we did a little shopping before I had to report to the station. So this is uh, uh, July 3rd is a Thursday. I just didn't fill in the day right there. And uh, this day, a lot of the DJs were coming in to voice track their show because of the holiday. They didn't want to come in on, on the 4th of July to do their show, so they were recording it. And I received an email later at that night after my shift that I had the highest ratings for the week. So I thought that was pretty cool, and I wanted to write that in there. And I, as you see, I wrote at an angle. I like to do that, too, because, again, it gives the book some interest. It just doesn't always look so uniformed. Uh, right here is the 4th of July. And uh, we took my cousin out to the Cabazon outlet going towards Palm Springs to um, purchase a particular bag that she knows that Wilson's outlet sells all the time. Uh, we made it home before the traffic got too heavy and then we had the fireworks show right off our patio and we had uh, filet mignon and shrimp and baked potato and asparagus spears uh, for dinner. We had uh, watermelon slices for our appetizer to cleanse our palate before we ate our meal and then we had um, some sakatumi cake for dessert with ice cream as you can see I don't have any um, anything written here but on this day the fifth we had a big barbecue at my mother's house that's why the pictures are here look I got my flames the right way I, I have my notes here for all this week right here and then here's my little page marker the magnet I was telling you about so I have all my information written down that um, I need to put down for the rest of the week. So that is my flip through for the month of May and June. And I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, I'm looking forward to the rest of your flip throughs. We'll do it. I'll do another one uh, next month while I'm all caught up with everything. And uh, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of your flip throughs. Thank you so much, everyone. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought. And um, I hope you decide to start your Hobonichi and just know it's whatever you make it to be. It does not have to be something real serious. You don't have to worry about if you're not a good, good drawer. You know, this is supposed to be fun and light and you just want to make note of all the cool things that happen to you on a daily basis. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone. Don't forget to comment and like and leave a thumbs up. And I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much, everyone. I'll see you again. And as always, I want you to be blessed. Bye-bye now.